This should be freaking amazing, man. Every minute is a fight for survival as you must scavenge weapons, defend barricades, and battle titanic dinosaurs to return to your own time. Oh my god, it's freaking time travel too? Bro, let's go. <laughs> we traveling in time and fighting dinosaurs. Now I'm really freaking excited, bro. How? That's not how you spell Jurassic. Hello! Uh, give me one sec. Lele attack just redeemed I don't know. This game isn't popping up. Does Twitch know this game exists? Um, not Hunt Showdown. It's Jurassic the Hunted. J-U-R-A-S-S-I-C. -S -S Jurassic. Ah, there it is. Hell yeah. Jurassic the Hunted. Let's go. Okay. Uh, drink. Hmm. Well, there goes the cap. Good thing I finished it anyway. <laughs> Alright, uh, we should probably, like, start the game, actually, you know? I should probably move this shit so I can see the screen. I seriously hope the AC, like, cools it down here soon. This game was made in 2009. It's newer than I thought it would be. Like, just, <laughs> just looking at this, this beautiful case for it here. You know, I expected it to be made in, like early 2000s or something early ps2 game i didn't quite expect uh late ps2 game wonder if it has like a ps3 counterpart that we should look out for man maybe we'll just become jurassic the hunted streamers you know this could be the new thing we just play this game 24 fucking 7 speed run it get world records i do legitimately wonder if it has any sort of speedrun community or anything, but I also wonder that about literally every game that I play ever. So, like, it's not really a credit to this game to wonder that. I just automatically want to know. Is that a thing? Does somebody care about this game enough to try and beat it as quickly as humanly possible? Invert look on. Aim assist, whatever, I'll leave it on default. We got a level select, though? Um, nope. So you gotta beat the levels before you can pick the levels. That's fine. On October 5th, 1983, an expedition to investigate unexplained phenomena. Oh. 28 years later, reports of phantom radio transmissions are intercepted by ships and aircraft passing through the sea. Ah, uh, this is... My bad game, you can go first. Anyways, <laughs> this is a Bermuda Triangle game. to try and I'm looking for a freaking ghost. Wonderful. Don't mind him, Dr. Cyrus. Aconite security appreciates your business. Dylan just gets punchy when he flies. What exactly should we be looking for, Dr. Cyrus? Your father's ship was lost 30 years ago. If there's a wreck to find... Cyrus? Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. <laughs> How are you gonna watch somebody get, like, eaten by a lightning cloud strike portal thingy? And then just, like, jump right into it, bro. <laughs> like, that dude's got some kahunas. Brachiosaurus, one of the largest animals known to have walked the Earth, it has become one of the most famous dinosaurs due to its large, gentle nature. The Brachiosaurus was strictly an herbivore. Okay. <laughs> Like, it's showing a picture of whatever the hell that thing is, and then talking about a Brachiosaurus. And I was like, I don't think that's a Brachiosaurus, my guy. I think that thing eats me. Like, it eats meat, it eats me, it eats whatever the hell it can get its hands on. I don't think it's no Brachiosaurus, no herbivore. Hello, little guys. You look friendly enough. You're going to get scared away by, like, a T-Rex or something, aren't you? course classic trope man can't be scared of the little dinosaurs because there's a bigger one coming find any survivors objective added oh 
invert look means that up is up and down is down? That's backwards. Oh no, it didn't save the setting, that's why. That makes more sense. <laughs> there we go, up is down, down is up, all is right with the world now. I don't know why, but like, for some reason turning the camera feels really bad. Oh. Is it a controller problem? I don't know. I can't tell if it's a controller problem or a game problem. Like, I'm just wiggling it around in a circle slowly. It just seems like... One of the diagonal, like, I don't know, up and to the right doesn't feel right. But to be honest, none of the, the diagonals feel right, so I don't know. Can we, like, run or anything? Square does nothing. Circle crouches. R1 nothing. L2. Oh. Okay, we have, like, a bullet time system. With, like, an actual picture of a bullet down in the corner. So that's... That's something. Is that like part of our, our Bermuda Triangle powers, man? Because we came through that portal, we can now control time. Oh. You don't look too alive. Oh, jeez. Monty, I'm sorry, buddy. You were a hell of a pilot. But that's impossible. We were still airborne less than an hour ago, but you, you look like you've been hanging around here for years. I don't think our guys figured out the whole time travel thing yet. Oh, Jesus Ray, Christ, what was that? Probably poisonous too. Oh, okay. <laughs> Even the plants are trying to kill us. That's fine. Are all the plants poisonous? <laughs> or is it just the ones with the weird red leaves? God, you know the game's gonna be good when the camera feels like ass. I mean, to be fair, so did, like, Mario 64's camera. It didn't exactly feel amazing, and it was a pretty good game. So we shouldn't, like, write it completely off yet, you know? Gotta give it a minute or two, at least. Objective complete. Take the gun located in the plane wreckage. Okay. There is fall damage. Good to know. We had to test it out sooner or later. Oh. Hi, friend. Just punch the freaking dinosaur in the face. Show him who's boss. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, so how do we... How do we zoom? Is it R1 to zoom? Nope. Ah, okay. L2 zoom. R2 shoot. And the more we move, the less accurate we are. That's fair. I feel like that's a somewhat common thing. You're in... Can we kill you people? Do we want to kill these people? Oh, well, they're gonna... Oh. How did I, like, triple shoot there? What the hell was that? Oh my god, this feels so bad! Uh, uh. It's been a while since we played a first-person shooter, but I don't remember the last FPS we played feeling this disgusting. Do we have, like, a reload? Oh, that's right, we have bullet time. I forgot about that. Ah, there we go. L3 is run. But it's hold. It's not toggle. That's kind of ass. We do have... Melee. Which is nice. We pick up more ammo. I'm guessing that's what that was. We can see like their freaking organs and stuff. Oh, look at his little brain. That's cute. You know how I know this is all just a fever dream? That freaking dinosaur just dissolved in front of me, man. Obviously not real. Is there really no way to like. Reload, though? Ah, there we go. Square. 
We were just full last time. I'm really used to having like a toggle for the run. Feels weird not having it. Search the wreckage. Sure as hell ain't Bermuda. Well, no, this is Bermuda and like. I don't know why. Instinctively, I almost said like the 1800s. Like, yeah, that's when dinosaurs were alive, right? The 1800s? That makes perfect sense to me. Rock, this is Dylan. I'm here. What's your 20? Over. Come in, Rock. This is Dylan. I'm reading you, but there's some kind of interference. Over. Rock, I'm reading you, man, but another one of those freaky storms is breaking you up. Repeat last. No other survivors. Do not attempt to... It's too dangerous. Repeat. Stay away. Damn it, Rock. This is Dylan. Do you read me? Rock, this is Dylan. If you can hear me, answer back. Oh, of course. Dinosaurs just freaking pop out of this stuff. Okay, the, like... <laughs> Aim assist is actually kind of screwing me over here. It's like, it's, oh my god. Is the sensitivity too low? Is that the freaking problem? We're gonna die, man, because <laughs> I can't freaking deal with this game. Oh my god, we need to reload. Smack him. Can we get, like, meat from them or something? Oh, my God. Why every time I go into bullet mode and we... Or bullet time, are we out of ammo? Damn, these little guys are... Oh! Famous. Okay. Do we have, like, health or inventory or anything? No. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. I'm gonna actually turn the sensitivity up and see if it feels better or worse. It goes up to 10, I'm assuming. Oh, it goes down to zero? Zero to 10 is a weird one. Because zero would be like no sensitivity, so you just can't aim at all. Yeah, I don't know if this is better or not, to be honest with you. I almost wonder if we should plug in, like, our actual PS2 controller and see if that feels better. Do I still have that thing out? I do. It's sitting over by the PS2. Ooh, assault rifle? Please and thank you. Triangle changes weapon. That's the wrong button. Some ammo. Is ammo just generic? I didn't see how much we had, but I it, I thought the number went up, but that looked like a pistol that was sitting in the in the box in the case thing there. Pressing the L1 button to activate adrenaline mode. Shoot vital organs for extra damage. Is, this, is there something that makes me feel like there's something around here we need to worry about? Maybe that guy or that guy. Hello. Did did that kill you? I, I can't tell if you're dead. You're still alive. Okay. Okay, the trick is... Oh, you're still alive. Hello. I don't like you people. So tempted to like plug a mouse into the PS2 and see if I can <laughs> play with mouse. Oh god. It's fine. Everything's fine. This is great. We're doing well. We're still alive. We don't have a health bar, so as far as I'm concerned, we're still like full health, you know? Haven't gotten a scratch even. Is it the same like dinosaur facts each time it loads? I could be random. I, okay, I think it's random when we just got unlucky loading the same one twice. I don't know how to say that. But, but, ter ter Terrandon? Not a dinosaur, but a something? Really? 
there it wasn't like a control section was there there was oh okay <laughs> it doesn't all it changes is it swaps r1 and r2 and then l1 and l2 there's no like way we can edit it at all or anything like that which is i mean common especially in older console games and stuff like that but still would have been nice if we had some sort of options. Ooh, a rifle. They really like to give us, like, all kinds of stuff right off the bat, don't they? No survivors. Sorry, buddy. I'm sure you were a very sweet dinosaur, but, uh, you ain't going home tonight. Should we be, like... Oh, my God. You're a little dick, aren't you? So we should probably be using like different guns for different dinosaurs is, is the point I was trying to, to get to there. Like the little one for the little dudes, maybe the assault rifle for like hordes of people. Is that a freaking, there I almost it called it a tank, a cannon. Dinosaurs. I hope that weapon still works. Wait, what? For real? Can we zoom? We can't zoom. Okay. Does this thing, like, overheat or anything? Is it, is it just infinite? Also, it's not a cannon. It's a freaking Gatling gun. From a distance, it looked like a cannon, okay? Oh my god, this feels like ass. I don't think it's my controller, though. I think it's just how the game handles, man. I think it just feels that bad. Oh, God. Oh, there is an ammo. Was that ammo count down in the bottom right the whole time and I just missed it somehow? Probably. How many of these little fucks are there? Thank goodness it seems like it is infinite ammo, at least. Like, limited clip size, but infinite number of clips. Alright, before we go in this thing, I am going to try it real quick. I'm just going to plug in the controller super quick and see if it feels any better. Because I do that to this controller a lot, so, like, who knows? Maybe it doesn't work very well. Why do I drop this thing all the time? But no, like, it's a PS4 controller, an old PS4 controller with a, an adapter, so, like, I don't know, maybe it's just not playing nice. Let's try the, the real deal. The official Plugging in an extension cord, dude, just to be calm. Ain't like that much extra room with it, but. The other side. I got the extension cord all wrapped up. Not for long, then. Okay, well, I think my extension cord might be broken. It doesn't want to plug in, I'll say that for you. Okay, 
And what if I just plug straight in with the controller? Bro, we have an all view. It works without the extension cord. The extension cord just gives us like a little bit of extra space, which is nice, but whatever. Kappa, hello, sir. I don't think that really feels any better. Okay, gonna do a circle. Yeah, see, like, I'm just doing circles, but we're working our way down. It's like the sensitivity down and up isn't consistent. Now, okay, here's a test. I'm going to flip the controller upside down to make sure that it's not just like some weird way that I'm spinning it. And we're going to do the same test again. Okay, yeah, now we're working our way up. So I think it's just a problem with the way I'm spinning it more than anything. So maybe the game's fine. Maybe it just, I don't know, feels freaking weird. And or I suck. Both are possible. I guess we can't go through there. Can we go up here? Nah, I'm good. Do 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 I love how the flashing started us all with like three seconds before the sound started. Rock, this is Dylan. Over. Dylan, I can't believe it's you. I almost stopped looking for you. Gotta make this fast before we lose signal again. I'm with Dr. Sayrus, camped on a volcanic ridge. Dr. Sayrus? Hey, you tell the good doctor that this little expedition of hers is gonna cost her triple. Dylan, shut the hell up. You're in serious danger. We've fallen into a time vortex. Yeah, the dinosaurs sort of clued me to that one already, Chief. Rock, you still there? You, me, and Dr. Sayrus are the only survivors, Dylan. Meet us on the ridge to the north of the wreckage. We've set up camp on... Have to hurry. If Dr. Sayrus is right, when the next storm hits, it's gonna take the whole planet with it. There isn't any time to... Rock! Rock! You read me? Rock! So, like, he, it seems like he only comes through whenever that storm is going on. Is it possible they got dropped in a slightly different time than we did? And so, like, the signal is coming through with the storm itself? But in, like, reality, we gonna go searching for him, and then, like, it looks he's like not gonna be anywhere to be found? Rock. Probably not, but that would be, like, a decent little twist, I feel like. Because, like, obviously we all didn't fall at the same time, right? Because we found the, the one dude, the pilot. And the pilot's body looked like it had been here for years. It was literally nothing but, but bones left. Are you dead? You dead. Okay. It's weird pressing, like, L1 and L2 at the same time to activate the bullet time and then to aim although i guess you don't have to hold l1 for the bullet time you just gotta press it i'm assuming you're gonna spawn in another another dude right oh i thought the dude was gonna like fall out of the thingy oh shit they spit an acid boy hold on where's the rifle that's not the rifle where'd the rifle go Oh, wait. Is that the rifle? Did we drop the freaking machine gun? The assault rifle? But it's so hard to, like, do fine precision aims. It either just, like, wants to go all the way or not move at all. It's almost like the dead zone set too high or something. Is it you? Are you hitting us? Is there something else hitting us? Can I hit you from here? Oh. You can also hit me, though, apparently. Are we hitting? I really can't tell. It's fine. 
You're a dick. Okay, you're dead. This is a game that exists, man. I'm so <laughs> so happy we decided to play it tonight, or it, or it got chosen tonight. Honestly, though, like, the story, while very campy, 30-06 assault rifle. Oh, so you can only carry two guns at a time. Hmm. So is that going to drop? That drops the pistol. So we got to make decisions on, like, what kind of ammo we want to be carrying. Or what kind of gun we want to be carrying with us. Well, we are almost out of... Well, that's a much more powerful gun, though. The hunting rifle. I think we're going to stick with the hunting rifle and the... The 30-06. They're more powerful guns. Oh. Okay. This is not what I expected. Can we just run across? Nope. Okay. That's fine. Why would we ever want to run across? Anyways. We Gucci, we safe. I love when games have balance mechanics. I cannot see shit. Everything is so brown and green. Um, are we still aiming at the dinosaur? Yeah, okay. I saw the splash of red when we pulled the trigger. <laughs> like, that was my indication that we were still aiming at him. I couldn't freaking see anything, so that had to do the trick. We gotta, like, jump across. Look at us go. Parkour masters. We fully loaded on both. We're not on this one. Never know when that one little last bit of ammo will come in handy. Are you... Are you a giant mosquito? What are you? I hope I can find them in time. Love how the textures are moving around. <laughs> Looks fantastic. Just like real life, man. When you step outside and the ground just shakes back and forth underneath your feet. But not all of it. It's not like it's an earthquake or something. Just, just a little patch of it, you know? <laughs> just starts violently shaking back and forth. Love it. That should just be ammo. You too? Yeah, give me all the ammo. This is an open field. I bet we would fight something big here. They keep getting bigger and the uglier. Utah Raptor? Was this thing found in Utah? Oh, never mind. You do have to hold L1 for the, for the bullet time. God damn, do I suck at this. Thank God we apparently just can't die, though. <laughs> I'm pretty sure one bite from that thing would just have murdered us. But this dude's obviously a tank. He does not give a shit. Gets bitten six times. Doesn't feel a thing. Perfectly fine, man. Give me another one. Why not? Another track? But what is this that we're following? Someone was here. Whoever it was went. In oh, they're fire pits, aren't they? Like old spent campfires. Why would they have like two so close together? If they're campfires, you know, you would think they would like walk all day, or at least a large portion of the day, and then start a fire. Not literally walk two minutes and then be like, you know what? We've walked enough today. Let's just set up camp, bro. No, <laughs> it's garbage. Oh, good. We spawned in with some here. I don't know why I started, like, whisper talking. Talk whispering. Quietly talking. Words are hard. Wait. Why did our gun switch? I had this thing picked before we left. Oh, also, you aren't the same dudes that I was shooting before. You're new, new, new dinosaurs. Okay. Is fine. I 
I wonder how often this game was compared to uh, Turok back in the day, like when it came out, man. So let's be honest, that's basically what it is, right? Just bad Turok. Is there even any point in the the melee, the the butt bump there? Like, these dudes are taking hits after hits with the actual bullets. And we couldn't even kill the little guys with a couple hits with the, the butt of the gun there. If we crouch, do we, like, aim better? Maybe a little bit? One dead. Oh, God, there's another one coming. You're a bunch of dicks! Give me a second to reload! <laughs> shit. <laughs> there you go. Just freaking... Just punch the shit out of him. That'll do the trick. It'd help if we could hit anything here. One down, two down. Let's freaking go, dude. I'm so glad that we're invincible. We'd be fucked without it. I guess you don't travel through time without some kind of, like... Natural resilience, right? Just know there's gonna be more dudes around here somewhere. Well, I mean, obviously, but I mean, like, I'm sub. I'm kind of surprised that more haven't already popped out. I guess. Where are we going? Over here, maybe. Can we, like, climb this? Nope. Maybe here? Looks almost like we might be able to go up there. Use grenades to destroy the wall. Okay. Where? Where are grenades? In the box. Oh, beside the box. Guns, ammo, it's like Christmas. Do we have to, like, break it open? Oh, down to pick up grenades. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, wait. What happens if we use up all the grenades here? Is this an infinite supply of grenades? Because if we, like, use up all the grenades before we break the wall, do we just lose? Hell yeah, okay. Infinite grenades. Wait, is this infinite ammo as well? No. Just the 9mm automatic. It seemed like for a second that we got a refill, so I thought maybe... Noise. Might as well refill our grenade. It's only one, but like... Grenades are nice. They go boom and then things die. That's what we like. Uh, can we have like a cool scene where we're fighting a giant ass T-Rex or something? And then it goes to bite us and we just throw a grenade in its mouth and it blows up last second, saving us from getting our head bit off or something. I can't move. Rock, okay. Are you there, buddy? Over. Oh, there we go. What gives with these storms, man? They're starting to get on my nerves. Temporal vortex. This whole island is being sucked up into a time storm, along with everything on it, including radio waves. That's why we can intercept the signals from the lost expedition. Yeah, speaking of which, what gives with the plane wreckage? It looks like it's been stuck in the jungle for decades. How long have we been here? Uh, yeah. We'll have to discuss that when you get here. It's complicated. Hey, Brock. If I don't make it back... Secure it, man. We've seen worse, right? Remember Angola? Rock, a dinosaur tried to eat me. You never quit on me, and I'm not gonna quit on you. And Gente hermano. On my way, man. I'll see you soon. Over and out. I feel like there was meant to be an actual cutscene or something there, not just us standing in place, unable to move while they yell at each other. But... I mean, whatever. That's fine, too. Or, you know, we could have just been walking and talking at the same time. That would have been fine by me. All 
Are they dead? I'm gonna pretend like that killed them all. Oh, there's more. Oh my god. Smack him. Oh, we missed. Smack him now. And again. And again. Is he dead? Oh my god, he's dead. Smacking him actually worked, man. Let's go. That's exciting. I'm gonna figure we go the way the dinosaurs came from. So far, that seemed like a pretty safe bet. Go towards the little murder hornets. Well, <laughs> little, little murder kitties? Murder lizards. Mur murder chickens. There we go. They might be missing feathers, but that's basically what they are. Little murder chickens. You know, in all honesty, though, I wonder what, like, a dinosaur, how they would react if they actually did meet a human. Because, like, they've never seen a human before. So they wouldn't be, like... I wonder, would their instinct automatically tell them to kill? Or would they, like, just not care? I feel like they would be more cautious at first. Like, the big, big dudes, they might not give a shit. But the, the smaller dudes like that, I feel like they wouldn't be so aggressive the first time they came across a brand new creature like, like humans. Especially if they're a creature carrying a gun, you know? Because, <laughs> like, if they did get too close and you started blasting, that loud-ass noise, I feel like, would probably scare them away. It can't be a sound they're all that used to. The closest thing would be... What, like a, a tree falling or a crack of thunder? But a bunch of bright ass lights and, and explosions coming from a creature walking around in front of you. Has got to be at least a little scary. Survive until all the waves are over. Repair the windows to prevent the enemy from entering. Oh, <laughs> okay. Suddenly we playing COD Zombies. How do we repair the windows? Can we shoot through the windows? Oh my god, the frame rate is wonderful. Are, are you like breaking this window or... How do we know... Is it just the number of bars that a window is missing? Can we just, like, fix it as he breaks it? <laughs> oh, we can fix it and shoot at the same time, though. This one's good. So we should probably just, like, do, do circles, right? Do we have, like... Infinite grenades too. Oh, <laughs> okay. You can't throw grenades through the windows, so <laughs> and you can definitely hurt yourself with the grenades that you throw too. That's uh both good things to know, honestly. <laughs> God. I need all kinds of help. Let's get comfy. We might be here for a minute. In this quote unquote fort. Oh god, where did it respawn us at? How far back are we? And, oh, did our ammo carry over from when we died? No, whatever. I mean, if this is the fort, then who cares? We can just recharge there at the fort, right? Thank you for the five bits, Noodle. Uh, recharge station. Ammo is full. Oh, damn it! <laughs> I thought R1 was shoot for a second. 
Oh, R1's grenade. R2, shoot, you dummy. Why did I do that? That was dumb. Well. This might be a uh, hour of cozy game night instead of one day. We might play two days of cozy games. <laughs> one, console FPS, not really my thing. Haven't been since I became a primarily PC player. Two, the game runs like ass. Three, I can't see everything because everything's just freaking green and brown. <laughs> just, just various shades of camo, basically. Four, it controls like freaking ass, man. <laughs> like, it does not feel good to play. And I feel like that's important for an FPS game, you know, that it controls well. Good thing we can at least shoot through the window. If we couldn't shoot through the window, we'd really be screwed. Oh, you actually, like, broke through. Oh, there's one still here. There's one here. What are you... He's not even attacking me, though. Weirdly enough. He's just, like... <laughs> he's just chilling over there. Weird. Nobody at this one. Wait, is there another one that I don't know about? Are there four windows? Or five? Or how many windows are there? Oh. Yeah, you dead. Next window. They breaking through? They breaking through? Oh god. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what is he doing? Why do they keep doing this, man? Is there like a dude still out there? There is. Oh god, I think they just broke through another one. Yep. Is it this window again? It is this window again. Wait, did I switch weapons, or did we run out of ammo? We ran out of ammo. Oh, damn you. Can we, like, shoot you in the leg and you die or something? Where's the recharge station? Here. Give me, give me ammo, please. I hear you. I don't see you. There you are. You ain't getting through this window, bro. Not while I'm standing here. Ooh, you were close, though. Look at you go. Shoot him in the ass. Perfect. Any more? I hear you. <laughs> I've realized that, like, 90% of our shots are missing. But the freaking kick on the gun mixed with the frame rate and me being ass really makes it hard to freaking aim anything. If we did like this, it wouldn't be so bad, I guess. Like, just don't ADS. Or do ADS, I guess. Don't hip fire. Can we, like, throw a grenade over there without... Like, will that hit them? I don't know if the explosion goes through the window or not when... Oh, that was it. Well, I'm going to fix it anyways, because fuck you. <laughs> I want to fix it. How about the next guy that's here? Also, who built this fort? Was it like the, the doctor and the dude that we were talking to? Rock or whatever his name was? Is 
I mean, that's obviously not a dinosaur built fort, right? That's that's a man-made structure right there. I'm I'm pretty sure. I don't know much about dinosaurs, but I don't think they normally build shit like that. Also, didn't the back of the box say there were 12 levels? Does each one of these loading zones count as a level? Because, like... If so, then we've played through, what, like, five of them so far? Which would mean this game's pretty freaking short. Oh, that's right. I forgot that we swap back to the other gun every time the game reloads. Or every time a, a level loads. Hi. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we had no shots in the gun. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Let me reload. <laughs> oh god damn it. <laughs> is this the only way we can actually die from them? Is if we like lose the QTE? Are there any vehicles in the game? I have no clue. I didn't see anything on the box about vehicles, at least. I'd be scared to drive a vehicle around. The game, like, struggles to to run when we're just walking around or shooting a, a gun, you know? Trying to load the level data in fast enough for a vehicle to move around might be the breaking point for the game. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about vehicles on the back, and I haven't read the manual, so... <laughs> I don't believe so, at least. We going down? Sure. Let's go down. I hear something. I kind of want to just... Oh, shotgun, though? Sure. Shotgun. I can't aim. Help. <laughs> Shoot off his tail. Let's go. I hear... I hear more noises, but it... Like, I couldn't tell where they were actually coming from. Bro, I don't care if you're a dinosaur or not. I'm pretty sure a shotgun to the face or spine is gonna murder you. I could be wrong on that, but like a blast from a shotgun nice up and close, I'm pretty sure is going to just sever the freaking spine. Oh, that didn't do the trick. Oh, C4. Okay. Never mind. Grenade's not big enough. Need bigger boom, please and thank. Did we go over here already? That's more grenades. Sure, we'll restock. Are grenades always infinite? Like every every pickup of grenades that we find? Below landside, okay. So is the C4 a weapon we can actually use or anything? Doesn't seem like it. Seems like it's just a quest item more or less. Honestly, though, with us being, like, uber powerful the way we are, why don't we just melee every freaking dinosaur to death, man? Just let them come to us, and then we'll punch the shit out of them. How far back do we need to be? I'm assuming 25 meters or whatever this is. 30 meters. I'm assuming that's far enough, right? Yeah. That was an explosion sound effect if I've ever uh, if I've ever heard one. Shotgun ammo. 
By the refill station? You're new. Let's swap you for that. Oh. Oh. Oh shit, they're windows again, aren't they? Why are you guys attacking this window and not the freaking open one? The one that's literally got like nothing, nothing blocking it at all right here. Are you all attacking the other one? Honestly, my plan was just to protect this one, and then when they come through the other side, then we'll deal with it. That was more or less my plan. There you go. They found their way in. So proud of you. Give me, like shoot you from over here. Let's go. Back to shotgun maybe, and then, and then we blast them. I'm assuming all of these shots are going through okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that death animation for that dude was like three FPS. That was beautiful. Oh, hi friend. Excuse me, you're literally inside me right now. I do not appreciate. I feel like this is supposed to be a tense moment or something like that. But honestly, like, we're just fighting more of the dudes we've been fighting the whole time. And as far as I can tell, we're freaking invincible anyways, as long as we don't let them murder us, you know? Are we hitting you? Why are you not dying? Okay, I'm kind of convinced that our shotgun is not working through this thing. Oh, good time to reload. Love it. Shoot him in the foot, that works. And look at that, we won. Ain't even a problem, man. I gotta fix the windows. It'd be rude to leave without fixing them first. Pulling these pipes or whatever out of our ass and hanging them up real quick. Are we gonna like jump through a time portal? I hear chirps. Hello. Oh, you, like, ducked right at the perfect time. Good job, you. Ow. Are you dead? You dead. When do we get, like, a noob tube, you know? I want to just gun-mounted grenade launcher these guys. I think that'd be really good for the, the dinosaur apocalypse that we're trying to rain down on these dudes. We balance on the log again. Guess not. We going the right way? This looks like a jump we can't come up from, so I'm gonna say yes. We going the right way. These little dudes? Ah, there they are. Hello. You guys want a kiss from my shotgun? Where did you come from? Alright, you know what? Maybe you guys would be better with... Oh my god. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna turn off aim assist and see if that's actually better. Because I legitimately think that might be better. Off. Leave everything else. Yes, I'm sure. Let's 
Circle. Punch the shit out of this bro. I hear you. That's okay. That's fine. He just wanted to hug. Bro, these dudes got some evasive maneuvers though. Did you see that like dodge roll he just did? That was impressive. Are you a refill? Nope. You're a nothing. Sorry, that was rude of me. You're very important to this game. You provide a source of gray and all of the, the green and brown and gray. <laughs> that like a secret area? Are there secrets in this game? Bro, for real? That looks like a perfect little secret hidden cave thingy. I'm actually a little upset that we can't go back in there. That's That just looks so perfect to hide like a, an extra weapon or a, some armor or something. Even got like the plants in front of the cave entrance and everything. Like we should just be able to smack it walk right through it or catch it on fire if we had like a lighter or something I don't know if it's all placebo but honestly I feel like the game feels a bit better now that we've turned off aim assist not much to be fair but a little bit and it looks like the end of the level Maybe this whole deal just keeps getting stranger by the minute. It got a 60% on Metacritic, apparently. I don't know which version that is, though. Oh, this one gets too hot. This one overheats. Okay. So infinite ammo, but overheats on this one. The last one had limited clip, otherwise infinite ammo. Is there a dude like behind us right now? I get why there's like not aim down sights on this because there, you know, there's no sights on it, but it'd be really handy if there was a way to just like, Like, to just zoom in to get better control over where we're aiming. I'm going to assume you two are dead. The ones that, like, are behind me or inside me right now. Gotcha. It's weird playing with the PS2 controller again because there's so much vibration now. Which is weird because, like, I thought the, the PS4... I know the PS4 controller I have supports vibration, of course, on the PS4. And I thought the little adapter thingy that I was using supported vibration too, but I do not remember having my hands go numb playing a game in a long, long time. And let me tell you, they going numb right now because every single shot I'm taking on this thing is vibrating like crazy. Damn near classify this controller as a sex toy right now with the way it'd be going off. We Gucci, we Gucci. Two of your cats are fighting? Tell them to stop it. Good, you're getting close. There's a narrow passage up ahead leading towards the volcano. That's where you're headed. You want me to head towards the volcano? Are you freaking crazy? Yeah, I know, but it's the quickest way to the camp. You gotta trust me on this one. I mean, as long as the volcano is not about to go off, then who cares? Right? Like, it's just... Unless it's an active about to blow all volcano, then it's just really a big mountain, a big hill. Why, why no go toward big hill? 
one ran into the donut? Okay. They not allowed in the donut anymore? I thought that we got the donut for them, or I got the donut for them, whatever. Is their donut. They can go in it if they want. He wants me to walk toward the large, bubbling, smoking volcano. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh god, hold on. Do we still have the shotgun? We do. Do, 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 do. I'm still waiting on like these big boss battle things that I was talking about in the case. I thought we would have fought like something big, big by now. I mean, there's the Utah, Utah, whatever that we fought earlier. But so far, that's been like by far the biggest thing we fought. I mean, I guess to be a little fair to our dude, this volcano is, like, smoking a lot. So I'm assuming it's at least somewhat active, if not active-active. Which kind of makes me feel like we probably shouldn't be shooting so much around here, you know? Might break through the crust, release some pressure. And before there's another passage that we have to blow loose. Oh, look! There's some actual magma. Noise. Wouldn't it be, like, super freaking hot in here? I feel like this magma would be releasing some major heat. If we touch the magma, are we just dead? God damn, we might die anyways, because I can't... Oh, the screen's red. This is the first time this has happened. Yep, I think we're dead. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so we're not quite invincible. we pretty close, but not quite. We can die with enough hits. It just takes a lot of freaking hits. A lot of freaking hits in like a very short period of time at that. No stand, stand bad. Uh, maybe we just like grenade. Boom. Oh, that went, like, way too far back, didn't it? Here, have another grenade. Here, you can have a grenade. <laughs> that was... They're still alive? The music stopped! You're not allowed to be alive after the music stops. Dick. Just teabag him. How do we crouch again? Circle. I couldn't remember. He's already gone. Fine. No, I don't think we want to pick up the pistol. Here's another one of the little caves that would be, like, perfect. What about, like, a grenade? I didn't realize the grenade was going to blow up as soon as it freaking touched a vine. I thought it would, like, hit it, fall, and then we'd have a second to run away or something. <laughs> but it answered our question, too. Nothing happened to the vine. The vine's impervious to explosions. Us, not so much, man. We... <laughs> We die pretty easy to the boom booms. They take us right the fuck out. Alright, take three. We got this. No worries, my guy. Oh shit. <laughs> Wait, did that actually kill him? It did. Let's go. I'm so tempted to throw a grenade, but uh, with them that close, we would just die. Zoomies are happening in the donut? Let them have fun, whatever. As long as they're not, like, literally murdering each other, then oh well. Oh. God damn. There's a lot of lava over here. I hear the battle music, but like I don't want to I don't want to deal with it. I just want to focus on getting across this without dying. 
Look at this go, man. Years of practice grinding in Tony Hawk has prepared me for this moment. What was I hit by? What am I being hit by? Oh, they're spitters. I didn't realize we were dealing with spitters. Are the spitters gonna like knock us off of these walkways or are we fine? I feel like if we get hit by a spitter while we're on this thing, we're just kind of dead. I mean, whatever, nothing seemed to happen though. Either they all missed or I was just scared for no reason. Oh, hi friends. You don't look friendly. And after I called you friend. Oh my god. Just run. Just run. Try not to fall in the lava. There we go. We got our health back. Let's freaking go, dude. Screw all these dinosaurs. I see no reason to fight them anyways. Do they even, like, follow us? No. Is their AI even capable of following people? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it's no. Is this another freaking balance section? Okay. It was fine at first. Like, we used it once, and then three, four levels later, whatever, we used it again. And that was all hunky-dory. This is, what, the third time in this one level? Ugh, Seems like a bit much. You Utah Raptors, that was scary. Can you, like, back up a little bit so I can throw some grenades at you? Oh my god, dude, there's two of them? How am I supposed to f deal with this? Oh, they're dead. What have you got me into, Rock? Okay, whatever. We almost died, but we made it. Ooh, refresh, refresh. Is that a portal that just opened up in front of us? Did we go in it, or I don't know? I was looking like that way, and the portal thingy was like that way, so. I don't know what if anything happened. Ugh. Search the surrounding areas. Okay. We search. You're still alive. Not now, you dead. GG, good try. All that time traveling for nothing. Also, why are they like coming out of the portals? <laughs> that doesn't make much sense to me. Is this like time storm sentient is it purposefully picking up dinosaurs and dropping them in our path oh my god just smack 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 <laughs> smack him just keep smacking man i can't even tell if we're hitting them there's no freaking feedback whenever you hit somebody with the with the melee attack like, you just swing it, and they don't react at all. It's obviously doing damage, though. Four, four-ish hits or whatever, and they die to it. But, like, at least with the gun, sometimes they react, you know? They, they like, fall to the ground or stumble a little bit or something. With the melee attack, it's just... It could literally be doing anything or nothing. We'd have no way of knowing. Oh. Oh, you can go in there, but I can't. I see how it is. Guess I almost got her head stuck in the people. Well, there's only two hers, so... I'm guessing Charlotte. Let's swap out this thing. Oh, they're explosive! That was unexpected. Okay. <laughs> come on come on there you go just go to sleep go to sleep 
You know you want to. <laughs> this is so stupid, man. <laughs> Absolute freaking garbo. Alright, let's reload this crossbow. I need I need someone else to shoot, please. We still got the battle music going on. There they are. Hold on. Hold on. Right in the spine. Are you dead? You dead. Let's go. Why'd you take it apart? Is another one gonna spawn over here? They are. Is that both of you? No, one of you survived. Dicks. Bruh, that should have hit you. Okay. Is this the base? How long have they been here that they were able to build all this? I guess that's like one of the things they're going to reveal in a second, huh? To see what she would do? She's going to act confused. That's what she's going to do. She's going to be confused. Like, imagine if somebody just took the top off of our house while you Professor were while you were chilling in here. Gilligan. You'd be pretty confused too. Sorry, I think you have the wrong castaways. Uh, you are Mr. Dillon, I presume? At your service. And you are? Uh, Dr. James Cyrus. Uh, my humblest apologies for dragging you into this, but I think for the sake of human civilization, it was a fortunate accident. Dr. Cyrus? Dr. James Cyrus? That's impossible. Uh, come with me. We have much to discuss. Told you, me and the me and the other dudes, we in different timelines, man. I'm calling it. Been calling it from the this beginning. This discovered in iridium powder. Anywhere the time vortex touches, it leaves this material behind. I believe it was just such a vortex, triggered by a magnetic reversal of the Earth's poles, that caused the greatest extinction the Earth has ever known. And if my calculations are correct, another event of even greater magnitude is almost upon us. And the Mayans knew it, the Sumerians knew it, and so did these men. I like the way this dude walks. He just like German shuffles Sumerian around like a little old man. Well, 26, missing since October 1944. She was carrying an experimental device. It is called the Zeitlich Turbulen Machine, or Temporal Vortex Engine. As you can probably guess, the experiment was a great success. Here. The wreckage of the U-1226 is in the cave, five kilometers east of here. If the device can be repaired... Then we can go home. Yes, and the world can be warned of the coming cataclysm and possibly find a way to stop it. Then what are we doing just sitting here looking at old pictures? Why not just have me and Rock go get the damn thing and... Mr. Dillon, Rock is in no condition to endanger himself. What are you talking about? Rock's six foot three of pure Navy SEAL. Not anymore, he's not. Who? It's me, Dylan. It's Rock. It's been a long time. <sighs> Such is the nature of the Temple of Vortex. It, it's like falling into a raging river. Even if you fall in at the same place, there's no telling how far the current will take you or where you'll come out. Rock found me and the last of my crew 30 years ago. Oof. Don't worry, man. I'm gonna get us out of here. Okay, Doc. Tell me more about this German sub. So what, he's like 60 now or something? He can't fight just because he's 60? He still looks pretty fit. I think he could help out if he really wanted to. Founder of Asinite Security with personal friend Craig Dillon. Co-founder of Asinite Security, contracted by Dr. Sabrina Cyrus to help her in discovering the truth behind her father's disappearance 25 years ago. And then wait, oh, I wonder how long she's been here. Because she was with with uh, Rock, right? So did they both fall in 30 years ago? or? Ooh, birdies. I swear to God, are we going to have to balance again? Uh, I feel like there's going to be a lot of balancing here trying to get across these trees. It's not so bad like as far as the minigame goes. It's just slow. Ooh, never mind. There's bridges. Um, you know what? I don't think we really need to worry about the birds or anything. Chocobo, hello! 
like it plays the the music right and it shows them like trying to get us and whatnot but i bet if we just run past all the enemies <laughs> except for the sections where like you have to right where you get into like an arena fight and it will not let you move on without killing everything except for that i bet we can just skip basically all the enemies Oh god, that frame rate though. <laughs> Beautiful. Game works like a wet dream, man. Oh my god, it's so hard to run. Why is it not a toggle? Oh, and you only actually run for like a moment too. It's fine. You can take a hit. I'm honestly surprised whenever we got hit, we, it wasn't just, like, automatic death. Leave the 44 Magnum. We don't need the other thingy. Or we can't get the other thingy. It's a sealed box. Uh, sure. Oh, there be people spawning in. Are they spitters? What are they? Yeah, they're spitters. Don't care. Just keep going. I don't think they really try to follow it all. I think when they made the game, they just expected people to, like, stick around and fight. Which, to be fair, that's more or less what I did at the beginning when I first started playing, right? Oh. Here we go. I didn't see this way down over here. Oh. Well, look at that. Speak of the devil. Or wait. Is this not? Okay. That looked like another one of those areas where we were just going to be stuck there and we'd have to survive or whatever. Why is nothing spawning in? Did we break the game by not fighting anything? Like, big open area like that, you would think something would have come for us. Damn it, the path is blocked. I need to find a way to clear the path. Cover the C4. That's fine. Thankfully, we have, like, supernatural ability to, to see things here. Oh, the running isn't actually just, like, a short dash. It's just really hard to freaking hold down L3 for that long. Oh, now we gotta defend the fort. Okay. Should have known it was too good to be true. You can tell when enemies start spawning in because the frame rate drops down to about 13. Are you attacking here? You are. I hope it reuses this mechanic like six more times over the next couple of levels, man. It was so good the first time they did it. Why wouldn't they just use it over and over and over again? <laughs> I'm honestly surprised the game hasn't like crashed with how low the freaking frame rate has gotten on multiple different occasions. This might actually be worse than Killzone. Just like frame rate wise. Gameplay wise, it's definitely worse than Killzone, but. <laughs> frame rate wise, I didn't think there were too many games that. that would beat Killzone. Killzone was pretty freaking rough. Are you telling us to leave now? No. Is this like my punishment for not killing any COD zombies has changed? Yeah, I made that joke earlier <laughs> before he showed up. This is the third time we've had to do this. <laughs> this. This game doesn't really have like 
<laughs> anything, man. It's the same shit over and over and over again. Although, to their credit, this game came out in like 2009 or something like that. Which I'm pretty sure was before uh, Zombies. I can't remember exactly when World of War came out, but like... It was a PS3 game. This is a PS2 game, so I think this game has a beat. Now, I'm pretty sure it is an Activision game, though, so it does make me wonder if, like, they reuse the mechanic. Like, if this is where they actually got the idea for COD Zombies from, I mean. Or, like, maybe it's a thing that games have done in the past. World of War was 2008. No shit. Okay. Like, I know this game has a Wii version as well. I have no idea if it has, like, a PS3 version or anything, though. Isn't there a, yeah, refill station? You definitely played Zombies your senior year. I never really played, like, World of War that much, so... Like, yeah, I wasn't sure when it came out. I played a, a decent bit of um, Modern Warfare, though, when I was... How old would I have been... I want to say around 16 when Modern Warfare came out, which would have been, what, 7, 2000 and, 2008, 2009 is when I would have thought Modern Warfare came out, but I don't know, though. I'm sure I'm off because Modern Warfare did come out before World at War, right? <laughs> like, I don't think I'm wrong about that. I could be misremembering all kinds of shit, though. What do I know? Because wasn't it like Modern Warfare, World at War, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3? I want to say that's the order things came out in. Which in that case, I guess it would have been 2009? Or no, 2007. I was getting things backwards. I mean, it might have been 2007. That would have been... I would have been like 14-ish, 15-ish. So, I mean, yeah, that actually, that doesn't sound too far off. Because I was a little late getting, like, a PS3 and whatnot. So, like, I probably played Modern Warfare a little late after release. So, maybe they did just straight rip this from, like, World at War, man. It is an Activision game, right? Yeah. Activision published, at least. Looks like, uh... I'm assuming Cauldron is the actual dev. Oh, is this our T-Rex fight? Still no aim down sights here. Be nice, he has little arms. Tell him not to be a dick and I'll be nice. Oh, we overheated. It's fine. I don't really care about the birds. And a big head. Tiny little brain, though. Did you see that brain inside his head? Probably not, because it's so freaking small. Honestly, I feel like this game would be much more fun on the Wii. Because with the Wii, you have, like, the Wii mode to aim with. Shoot him right in the freaking eye. Oh no, we got hit. Wait, are we not recovering health? Oh, we are. It's just the pterodactyls are doing a lot of freaking damage. God, the aiming is so ass. Everything is ass, honestly. We have, like, no freaking ammo left. Does he actually attack us at any point? 
Can we just let ourselves re- Okay, he attacks. <laughs> I was hoping we could just let ourselves recover a little bit here for a moment. So they deal a lot of damage, the pterodactyls, but they only, like, take one hit, one shot themselves. Come on, Mr. T-Rex, get your ass back out here. I hear him. Where's he at? There he is. Oh, you- What? Bro! <laughs> we were shooting him! That's some ass. I want to kill this thing. And then we're probably going to call it for this game. Because, like... One is 230. Two, this game is... A game that exists. That's, uh... That's about all I'm going to say about it. <laughs> the only good thing... I have to say about it, at least. I've said a lot of not-so-great things about it. A portal easter egg is apparently leading to Steam Decks being stolen. What? Why? What the hell does a portal easter egg- that sounds like some clickbait, man. I don't know what movie it was from, but I used to quote it all the time, I've never seen the movie. But it was, I got a big head and little arms. I have no idea. Could be anything. Did it work? Did what work? I don't think it worked. The clickbait? Oh no. <laughs> I mean, I didn't click it, so... <laughs> I was very curious about it, but I wasn't curious enough to actually click that shit. Not right now. If I was, like, sitting on the toilet board as fuck or something, I probably would have clicked it, to be fair. Bruh. I really just want a mouse. I have an extra USB mouse somewhere. I doubt this game has mouse support, though. There's not that many PS2 games that do. Oh, we knocked him down. Let's go. Get knocked back, you big bastard. Okay. We safe. Is that the sub that we're looking for there? I don't know, do games like list it on the box when they have mouse support? I could like dig out my Dirge of Cerberus copy and check, but like it's been a while since we played that game. So it's probably buried in one of my one of my totes. Okay, it almost seems like we actually want to let him get a little closer before we shoot him. So we can deal more damage on him. Why would these pterodactyls be helping the T-Rex? Oh, hi. That one didn't even hit us. The salmon powder's all over the floor? Why'd you dump the salmon powder all over the floor? Come on, kill him, kill him, let's go. These must be the caves Dr. Get Sam wrecked. About, but, oh no, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, there's more? That was just round one? What's the difference between the red one and the green one? Other than the color. Were there actually like different colored T-Rexes? It's either Charlotte or Gary. I think Charlotte slipped knocking the door open and Gary pulled it out. Maybe they were just hungry and really wanted some salmon powder. 
Where's the, the dinosaur that has active camouflage? When are we gonna fight that one? Ooh, you come from the left side sometimes. That's what makes you special, I see. I love how he does the same, like, stop and look move that the other one does, though. Very original. The difference really is just he comes from different locations than the other one. He doesn't even seem to have more health or anything than the first one that we fought. My question anytime I play, like, any game of this caliber is, did they play the game first? Before they released it? Did they try it out and be like, this is badass, let's release it? Or did they just not care at all? Hello! With the hydrate! Hold on. Gotta, gotta murder hydrate. this dude. Come on! Oh, you bastard. Okay. One more. One more round. And before, like, a blue one shows up next. A gold one, the final boss, you know? Continue. Accidentally hits reload last checkpoint. Oh. Accidentally dies. If we die, we're not doing this uh, fight again. Just throwing that out there. Alright, where's he gonna come from? Guess we can kill these dudes in the meantime, maybe? Well, or not. We can try to kill these dudes and fail at it. All right, he dead. Objective complete. Thank God. The dudes do be dead, though. Oh, <gasps> do we get to fight that thing? That's like some doom shit right there or something. That actually looks pretty cool. The worst part is, like, the game is super short. If it didn't run like ass, I don't think I'd be so mad at it. But it runs freaking terribly. So, like... I mean, it was probably like a $60 game when it came out, but if it was like a $15, $20 game or something, it's short enough that I wouldn't be super pissed at it being like repeating itself a lot and not having much variety in its weapons or, or whatever, enemies, etc. But it runs like freaking garbage, man. And that just makes it so hard to enjoy at all. It doesn't say anything about mouse support. There's got to be, like, a list. Is there a list? List of PS2 games with mouse support. Do, 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 do. Uh, whatever. Agree? Currently testing Half-Life on PS2 using mouse and keyboard. Do you guys have any games that you know would utilize keyboard and mouse? Uh... Dirge of Cerberus, EverQuest, Final Fantasy, Half-Life, Mist, Red Faction, RE4? I tried playing this with a mouse and keyboard, but I am not sure which part uses it. Wait, what? Huh. I mean, apparently there's like a mouse and keyboard adapter. Oh, Resident Evil Dead Aim has partial mouse support. Resident Evil 4 has none is what somebody corrected, which I think they have that game. Maybe we'll try mouse out whenever we uh whenever we get around to it. But yeah, no, this game doesn't seem to, which I didn't figure it would. It seems like a shit game. Anyways, though, <laughs> we're going to play a tiny bit of cozy games cuz uh I'm kind of tired of this game. Even though we're probably just about through it, I don't feel like it's worth trying to finish, to be honest. So we're going to call it there for Jurassic the Hunted. I am curious how long it is, Jurassic the Hunted. <laughs> Does how long do beat even have, like, info on it? Yeah, four hours. <laughs> it's, like, the average completion time. Not surprised. 
is garbage, bro. <laughs> that Onimusha vote, though, bro. I'd love to be playing some Onimusha right now. Let me uh, swap over to Cozy Game. We'll BRB.